Carol, this is going to be a reading for July 13th to July 19th, 2020. Thank you to all my subscribers, all my views. I really appreciate it so much. I have been started thinking of some plans for when I get to 2,000 subscribers um, of what I could possibly do, or maybe I should wait till 5,000, but I'm thinking of what I could do to... Um, just make it a little more livelier, make you guys feel a little more appreciative for subscribing to my channel. So I have ideas. If you guys have any, I guess you could leave them on the comments. I would appreciate it. I'm flexible. I'm open. Okay, so this reading, like I said, is the 13th and 19th. There's no way this can connect with every single Leo out there. So... If it doesn't connect with you, don't force it to connect. And I have shuffled all the decks before I turn the camera on. I just give them one more after I turn the camera on to cut the deck. So I'm almost done here. Sometimes I just get so speedy on shuffling them and laying them down there. A little messy. Okay, and I'm going to pull the Whispers of the Ocean Oracle cards for you first to start off the reading. So the first one for you, Leo, is 22 Take No. So you, your answers are being given to you, quieting external voices, and excessive noise will give you the chance to hear what is being offered. So those are the Hawaiian monk seal, and it talks about how they have little slits for ears. So this has to do with communication. Take note. Either there's something you're not hearing, or something somebody else is not hearing. There's a communication issue somewhere around you. It's important enough to come out in this reading. So the next one is 10, every step counts. There is an, an advantage in taking things slowly. Remember deeply and fully, breathe deeply and fully as you consider your options. This is the new to branch gill, which is considered a sea slug. And they, in the book it says it's often overlooked because it's so little, but it's really beautiful. So maybe you're feeling overlooked lately, like you're really beautiful and that would totally be a Leo slug if the sea slug if that was one because of the color there so every step counts um, we all have days where we feel underlooked and overlooked but you know people notice you maybe they're not acknowledging it right now but people do there's just a hard lot of stuff going on so maybe they're keeping their energy more to themselves Leo and not um, sharing so much of it with you is what I'm picking up. But every step counts towards your goals and your future and what you're working towards. So even though you may feel stuck right now, which some of you, I, I think that was, um, that I want to say Virgo, but I'm not sure that some of them feel stuck. So maybe this is for Cuspers, Leo, Virgo as well, because Virgo was feeling very stuck, and that's what I'm getting here. It's telling you every step does count. So the next one is 28, seeing both sides. Take a step back and try looking at this from a different perspective. And this is 28, which would equal a 10, which could be an ending. You have 10 there. So you have 22, a double number. Then you have 10, and if you add... 28 that as well would equal a 10 so I do feel like there's an ending of some sort could be anything could be a car loan a phone contract could be a friendship could be uh, going back to work could be a lot of things so I'm getting that in your reading there so two tens 22 and 10 10 so you have the Hawaiian monk seal the neuter branch gill sea slug and the hammerhead shark which hammerheads can see 360 degrees. So there's something you're not seeing is what that is saying. Just look at somebody else's side to something, Leo. Alright, I'm going to switch to the Chaco Wisdom deck. 
And you have nine of coins. Nine of coins is you putting away and saving and planning. You're, I don't want to say you're stressing, but you're organizing and planning, which is good. Ace of Cups. This is somebody offering you love or you're offering love. This is love being offered somewhere around you, Leo. Judgment. So the universe is passing judgment. Sorry for that light there. I'm trying to do the best I can not to have it shine there. So this has to do with the divine guiding you to where you are. And I feel like there's three people who may have passed judgment on you, who may have slowed you down a little getting to where you wanted to go or something. And the universe will, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, take care of them and I don't mean anything hard or anything they'll just make them feel what they made you feel so just know that if that still bothers you or why that came out so king of swords this is somebody who is going to cut something out he's going to be done with something he's going to say something not very nice and he is going to cut something out that is not for his highest good and that's a crown chakra, like he had intuition. Okay, so look at this now that I look. So you're saving and planning, love is offered, the divine steps in, and the king of swords is going to cut something out. And then you have ten of coins. Ten of coins has to do with birthright, your name, an inheritance. I, I guess it could have to do with a divorce possibly. But I feel more of an inheritance. But something with your birthright, what's due yours. A divorce is a family. Eight of Swords is somebody self-blaming, self-sabotaging, going within yourself, repeating thoughts of negativity and harmful thoughts of why things went the way they did and blaming yourself. And don't do that, Leo. So Princess of Swords is somebody spying. Somebody is spying on you. Leo, a lot of spying. A lot. So then you have Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords is an ending. Something is done. Would you, we had that up here if we had that up there. And you have the Ten of Coins, which is a birthright, but could be an ending. So yeah, you have um, ten like three times so far. And then Ten of Cups. Look at this. So Ten of Cups and Ten of Coins is good. So Ten of Cups is love and happiness. So something's going to end, but it's going to bring you happiness and love and family, if that makes sense at all. And it's fast action. So something, some kind of birthright coming to you, self-sabotage, blame, spying, end of something, and then happiness coming towards you. Two of Swords is you um, putting your guard up, being protective. You feel vulnerable, you're aware of it, and you're being guardful, guarded. Two of Wands is you have an opportunity, and you're going to have to make a decision for other people other than yourself. So then you have Four of Swords. Four of Swords is saying that you're overthinking something to do with a love situation. You're overthinking something in your head over and over that you're going to off-balance yourself. So I think I'm going to switch to the Mystical Cats Tarot deck for you. Um, I just pulled a couple more, like Wheel of Fortune is good. This is you um, bringing abundance to you your life going where you want it to go and then the princess of cups came up which is honest love being offered somewhere and then queen of swords which would match the king of swords after all this stuff um, that could be a power couple that don't put up with anything she's very intuitive so the queen of swords usually is aware of something going on or will cut something out so if there's something going on you're aware of it before anyone knows you're aware of it Alright, so then you have the world. This is beautiful. So a new direction is coming in. Your world is changing. It's going in a new direction. Sky King is somebody who watches you. They don't say anything. They're cold. 
So two of sky is you make a decision. This is the same as this. You have your vulnerability up, your guard up a little. It came up twice. This one makes me feel like there's something from the past that you're thinking about today that is, or this time frame, this week or whatever, that is causing you to try to make a decision about something. So then you have Earth Tom, which is a helper coming in to help you, Leo. And Ten of Fire. Ten of Fire is again another ending. There's some drama around you and you're not having it. You're not participating in the drama. You don't want drama. And if people try and bring drama around you, it's like, oh my goodness gracious. So yeah, there's some drama around you. So Good Kitty is the universe acknowledging the good energy you put out to the universe and it could be coming back to you. So Earth Queen is somebody very opinionated in their ways, very rigid, very non-changeable, if that's even a word. Um, somebody set their ways, rigid. So Eight of Earth is somebody teaching somebody either new coping skills, a new skill, a new job. Somebody teaching somebody younger than them something. And this is a stars, Leo. This is you to me. But traditionally it would be Aquarius in this deck. So I consider this Aquarius or Leo. And you have Three of Fire. Three of Fire is you wondering why things went the way they did. And this could be three people in a relationship juggling. Seven of Fire is you defending yourself to other people. The Moon. The Moon could be Pisces. It could be something coming out into the open. So maybe something came out this last moon or something's going to be coming out in the next moon for you, Leo. The wheel. Beautiful. So you have the wheel here. So you have it twice. Something is changing for you that is more in tune with the life you've dreamed about, the life you've wanted. You have been vulnerable. You're on guard, which seems good. You're trying to be cutting out what isn't for your highest good out of your life. Somebody is offering love. Um, you're ending something. I did see that. You have a, an ending. It is very strict that something is ending. Maybe one, two, or three things. But something is ending. So then you have the chariot, which is a new direction. Could be a voicemail, email, text, phone call, letter, something. A new direction. And that comes after the Wheel of Fortune. And the moon. I mean... This is so powerful. I feel like it is so mystic. So something to do with coworkers, Leo. And the priestess. So the priestess is very clear with her thinking, very high intuition. She doesn't second guess herself when she makes a decision and she is usually right the first time. And she has learned from past life. She usually is allowed to bring past life um, knowledge into this life. The priestess. This could be, yeah, that's just new beginning and healing. So strength. This is Leo to me. This is strength. And with the birdies on there, I feel like you're going to be getting some information that you are not privy to. Somebody's going to tell you something out of confidence. Let's put it that way. So Six of Sky is you moving away from dramatic situation. There's some dramatic people around you, it seems like, Leo. I don't know what is going on with these people. So I'm going to switch over to the Oracle of E-Card, I think, because I have to watch the time. So let's go with Nasty Knot 47. So something is going to come full circle that wasn't for your highest good that you're going to be like, oh my gosh, that just turned out really not good. How come I didn't see that? So that's what that is. And then in the to do to buy, it's number 20. This is saying that this is your lucky day, your lucky life, your lucky week, your lucky month. This is luck. 
So I don't know if that has something to do with a nasty knot when you figure out what that is that you got lucky concerning that. Live wire has to do with the upright triangle. Um, a lot of energy coming to you. A lot of movement that's upright masculine energy, but feel free to vice versa that where that could apply to you. And then you have everything is beautiful. Five is a change. So when something changes, it's for your highest good and it's going to be beautiful. When the things change, you know things are going to start going, Leo. The universe is holding you in this light. So something's changing, it's for your highest good. So then you have jackpot number 40. Jackpot is just what it says, jackpot. Good things coming to you. Nice. So then you have baggage be gone, number 17, which um, something is coming full circle. Something is coming full circle where you're going to be able to release baggage. You're not going to have something to carry around. And I believe you have infinity twice down here, 35, live fire and baggage be gone. So I do feel like, okay, so this is crazy. So you have nasty knot and everything is beautiful on the same line. And then look at this, you have the dude abides a jackpot, which this is basically luck on the same line. They have the same pattern. And there are two and a four. And then these two are the same, and these both equal eight. Even though one's an upright triangle, one's a circle, they're the, both an eight. So energy and baggage be gone, infinity. So that's pretty powerful. So now I'm going to pull the Soul's Journey lesson cards for you, Leo. And you have death. I am learning that endings are merely beginnings. So I do feel like something in your life is ending. A pattern or something you're just releasing. This is the year. This is the the month. This is the time that you're going to change something major in your life. Major. I don't know what it is. But I don't believe it actually means literal death. Something's changing. You have had a lot of ending cards here, but not... I get a trio of three cards representing actual death, and I ha I don't see that on here. So the next one is gratitude. I am thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents. And usually we don't realize how what we have until it's gone. So I do feel like a door closes, another door opens, and you're very grateful for what it is. This is healing around love. So something is changing concerning you and love, Leo. I don't know what it is. But you are going to be have more gratitude for the person you are and the way you love. And you're going to be more powerful in your love and that you are going to, how do I say it? You're not going to be more craving of people accepting your love and the way you are and your personality, the whole package, everything. You're going to be more accepting that those people who are drawn to you and will appreciate you are definitely going to be coming to you. And you'll have gratitude for those people. That's totally what I feel. So now I'm going to pull the cat's fantasy oracle card for you. And you have hiding number five. Wow, Leo. You see the kitty up there in the basket. So to me, this card represents you have people around you that you don't need to be indulging information to for some reason, Leo. I don't know why that is. Usually there's people you can't trust around you. So don't lay your hand on the table. Don't show your cards. Keep everything close to you. Don't talk about what's going on. Just keep it on the down low. Keep it on the down low for some reason. There's somebody around you who you need to keep that from. So the next one for you is summer, that wild energy of midday. And this is the desire card, the longing for intimacy and um, passion. Beautiful. A new beginning. I feel like it's a new beginning in love. So... I don't know if it's telling you to be on the down low about a new relationship that is coming to you. Something's up there, yeah. Keep it on the down low and then somebody, a new beginning is coming to you that seems very, very, like, fantasy-like almost. It's going to seem surreal. So now to the Angel and Ancestor card for you is Lord. Take charge with authority. So this card represents being protected 
It just what it says. You are going to take charge of something. You are not going to be, um, what's the word I'm looking for? For lack of a better word, manipulated. You're not going to be coerced into something you don't want to be coerced into. You're not going to be, um, let me look it up. And see if there's a better way to say it. So, Lord. Okay, here he is. And it's weird because I pulled up Lady, I believe, for Virgo again. So don't be afraid to take charge or use your voice. Be strong. Sometimes you have to take control in order to be honored. So it's just saying, yeah, that you have to use your energy to be strong. But be grounded and be emotionally stable with something going on. So Lady and Lord. Lady is usually um, you getting, reaping what you sow. And Lord is her counterpart. I still feel like there's something I'm not getting. So he doesn't mean he is angry or chauvinistic. He doesn't mean he's possessed. Um, he is self-possessed and reliable and ambitious. And he is a man of honor. And he earned his place in society. So sometimes when you speak your mind in a fiercely loving way, you have the energy and might to overcome dramas or energies that aren't working for your growth, and it's time to take charge before you find yourself in a situation you don't want to be in. You are being encouraged to be the boss instead of being bossed. This card also brings the energy of ambition and can show you how the potential to move upwards and on a professional level, but only if you act with authority and show who you really are. So, yeah, if somebody is pushing themselves on you, um, energies that aren't working for your growth, you might have to be really aggressively able to push some of those energies away from you is what that card represents. That they just may not, you really may have to be aggressive. So then you have drum, dream and journey. So drum is very powerful. I do not know what that is. But here we go, that noise, if you can hear it. So journey inward and uncover insights and information that will be important for your path, then follow the guidance. You are very connected to the other worlds at this time. The wisdom and intelligence of the earth and her magic surround you. The drum which echoes the sound of Mother Earth's heartbeat has cleared the cobwebs and dust from her inner vision. What you have seen in your dreams and inner vision is not imagination, but guidance. Particularly if you have been coming to you repeatedly, if it has been coming to you repeatedly, and has the potential to become reality, dreams come true, know it, and live it. So the drum is very powerful. It's like a beat. And so that tells me you're going to a certain beat right now. And the universe has things the way they want them to go the way they're going to. And they're going to go a certain way. And for right now, it seems to be for your highest good. Leo. So it does seem like you're going to have a release of lower energies around you. Which expect people to fight that and try really hard to not let you release them. I feel one person in particular is going to be very extremely difficult but I don't feel like it's nothing you can't handle and I feel like you're going to have a helper to help you deal with that person this is what I'm picking up alright so is that everything it is I'm going to read your fortune cookie for you so here's a fortune cookie and your fortune is Okay, let me see. One beam, no matter how big, cannot support an entire house on its own. So that is saying basically that one person cannot support an entire house. They can try and they can do it for a little while, but eventually it's going to be overwhelming. So keep that in mind. Thank you for coming to my channel. Leo, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. It helps my channel out a lot. 
And if you don't want the notification on your phone to beep when I upload a video, don't hit the bell icon when you subscribe. And if you do want the notification on your phone every time I upload a video, then do hit the bell icon when you subscribe. Also, I upload two videos every day at 4 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So thank you for coming to Echo Catcher Tarot. Bless you.